Hello friends, let me show you today a recovery from a card, SD card with the help of a card reader attached to a deep spark USB stabilizer. The port is connected to the deep spark stabilizer. On my desktop screen, you can see that the card has been attached. The card has already been powered on through the stabilizer. I shall go into the logs. It is showing a capacity of 14.5 GB. That's good. I have got the capacity. But one look at the settings, you will see that the read timeout is extremely high. Some may not like this, but I don't know why I am getting good results at a high read timeout. I have allowed SCSI pass through. I have set on hardware reset. I have said don't read dry blocks. I have said uh, selected response to write attempts error USB speed auto. Now if, on, if I want to power off the source, I can power off from here. Here I can see that the card has got detected and it is processing something. Maybe some software is running in the background. Yes, RStudio is running in the background, I think, and it is doing recovery. I will stop it for our convenience and I will. Now you can see that it is idle now. Our studio recovery has stopped recovering this drive. Now I still see that the USB card remains detected. The settings are the same. Now let me try different softwares and see whether they give, whether they do data recovery or not. First uh, of all, I will try our studio. Well, I can uh, do imaging also and uh, I can uh, do data recovery also. I would show you data recovery today, but not in full. I will do some data recovery. I will see what are the raw files we have got and whether they are opening or not and what is happening on the stabilizer. I click on scan. I click on detailed scan. I say scan. Well, you can see documents are increasing. It is progressing very fast. The speed is 112 MB per second. I will show you the stabilizer log file. I have not shown you. I'll show you the sector map. This is the imaging speed 1413 MB per second. Well, about 3% uh, of the drive already imaged. And we will stop it here. I will go into settings. I will power off the source. I will see the sector map. Yes, it has stopped. Let me now clone the drive. Let me see whether it clones or not through our studio. Yes, I have got the partition. I will click. Uh, I will click on create image. I will go to D drive and save it as 19 partition 1 RDR scan. So I saved it. I will say compressed image or byte by byte. Whatever you select. I will select a byte by byte image. I will click OK. Now creating image file for partition 1. We will see now what is happening to the stabilizer. You yes, see it is imaging so well. The speed is about 14 Mbps. Already 3% approaching to be finished. Now if I let this finish my image is done. So let me stop the process. Yes and I can image the drive through our studio. Now let me see through some other software. I'll try handy recovery. So old software was very famous once upon a time. 
you can detect the drive I click on start I have got this drives partition and yes I am getting some data here only 122 files and folders and still it is doing its job but I would like to do extended analysis so I stopped it I click on extended I select all these and I say okay proceed now some document files have already been found here I can see the drive is imaging but not with that speed what it should what our studio could do this is imaging at uh, KB per second so yes this is going very slow because it is an extended analysis had it been a normal analysis it would have been very fast uh, we have got a few images let us see the images are coming let's see one a preview does it give a preview or not uh, because through the stabilizer and such a low speed the preview may not be possible so easily it is giving data some jpg files are coming gradually but i am not getting a preview let me try once again if i can get preview no i have not got the preview at all at the speed of 460 so i cannot have a preview or maybe it may give a preview after a very long term now there is a feature of cloning in this uh, software also let's stop it I stopped it now I go to file I see save disk image and I say select this one fat 32 for and I click save image it is asking for a path I will say go into D drive and I will say uh, make an image handy so now I labeled handy and I clicked on save now let's say see you can see the speed here now is 11 but that means that the speed of art studio was better it was doing at about 17 to 20 or 14 to 17 somewhere like that but still we can image SD MMC card through its reader with the help of stabilizer in difficult situations my idea was to show you that even cards can be recovered even unstable cards can be mounted in this your reader should be a good one I have used an ordinary reader costing just about half or one one dollar maximum I stop this I say are you sure you want to stop the imaging I say yes image creation cancel visor delete the partially created image I say no and now what I do is I go to <laughs> some other software like art studio and try to see whether the image which I have saved in handy can be processed in art studio now I will show to you that the image which was made in handy recovery and saved as handy can be opened in R Studio 2. Now I will uh, I will open R Studio. I will go to Drive. I will click on Open Image. I will go on the handy dot disk image I will click on open it has mounted I will click on scan I will say detailed scan and yes in a second sorry I will click on raw files I will see whether the images have come or not yes images they are all there yes you can see the images have come Thank you so much. This is to demonstrate that DeepSpark USB stabilizer can be used to recover data from cards also. It's a very easy process and everybody will definitely like this. And thank you very much for watching this video. Okay, bye friends.